This is the TU9250 electrical trainer. It's designed to be used as a to simulate a residential split heating and cooling system, but it can also be used as a commercial package rooftop unit as well. We have the same components here. Well, we control everything with this thermostat here. We have a single pole contactor with a shunt here. High pressure safety switches, our air conditioning compressor. Access actually has a control board, just like you would find in a furnace at your house. We have a inducer draft motor for the heating cycle. We have our pressure, high low pressure safety switches, our indoor fan, outdoor fan, gas valve. We actually have a burner that's hooked with the gas valve is hooked to a propane cylinder. So the, when there's a call for heat, the gas valve actually will open up and we'll actually have live flame. So we're gonna start the demonstration off with cooling mode. So we're gonna turn the thermostat to cooling. Make sure it's set below the set point. We have a minimum time delay here and then we'll start seeing things coming online. Just had the call for cooling to the board, up to the contactor pulled in, turns on our fans. Turns on our compressor. Now we're full bore cooling mode right now. We'll go ahead and change this over to heat mode. As I change it over to heat mode, you'll we'll see our contactor will tank turn back off. Outdoor fan motor will stop. Our indoor fan motor will continue to operate, but our inducer draft motor will come on until we make our high pressure, low pressure safety switches, which then will allow our gas valve to energize. There's a bit of a time delay here. We're gonna watch for the spark down here on the actual igniter. So we didn't get a heat there, so we're gonna go through the whole cycle again. There's a little bit of a time delay because we're, we're having to close our pressure switch there. Everything has to prove, just like you would have in a real, real life scenario. There's our flame. So our burner's on, inducer motor's on, and our fan motor's running. So it says, little thermostat satisfied. Once the thermostat satisfies, we have a Time to lay off for our draft inducer motor, just like you would have, but the burner shuts off right away. So what's nice about these is these components, again, everything across the top here has a bug switch in the back side of it. So if we want to set this up for a student, for a class, we could turn this again, just like the other trainer, we could turn this into a troubleshooting lesson by turning on or off the capability of the components from being able to run. The uh, thermostat actually has one that breaks the Y switch in the back. So when we have a call for cooling, we could switch that and it would prevent the call from cooling happening until the student were able to find that and correct it. One of the questions that we get is the differences between this 9250 trainer and the 9240 trainer. And from our perspective here at the training center, the 9250 comes pre-wired, out of the box, ready to plug in and play and, and go. Turn on everything from the thermostat and start start working through. So it's really nice for a classroom full of apprentices to sit down and see this full-blown uh, split system in full operation. It's not really meant to be taken apart and move panels moved around as it's more of troubleshooting. This, is, this trainer makes a very great troubleshooting trainer because we have all the different switches in the back of these components across the top where we can manipulate how the whole system works just based on that. Whereas the 9240 trainer is more designed for us, we use it more for putting actual parts together, building circuits, building different scenarios, and then plugging and playing with all that. So that would be our, our biggest differences.